Hello guys, welcome to my new course step by step learn SPFX web part development. In this course, I am going to teach you all the important aspect of SPFX web part development. So let's look into the topics. What are the topics I am going to cover in this course? So guys, basically this course is divided into five levels. In the level one, we are going to learn about these topics. So we will start the journey for this course with the SharePoint development evaluation history. Then we will learn about the tool chain set comparison. What was the tool set which is being used in the earlier SharePoint development and what is being used within the SPFX development. Once we understand that, then we will proceed further and we will look into the important details about the SPFX development tool chain. Once we are comfortable with the SPFX development tool chain, then we will proceed further and we will look into SPFX development environment compatibility. We will also discuss about ALM application lifecycle management of SPFX solutions. Then we will look into how to set up the SPFX development environment where we can set up the environment for SPFX development. So in this aspect, we are going to join M365 developer program. Then we will set up the app catalog. Then we will create the site collection and we will perform the Docker container installation where we are going to perform all our exercises within the SPFX Docker container. Once everything is being set up properly, then we will proceed further and we will create the first SPFX web part solution. We will understand the SPFX web part solution structure and then we will perform the learning assignment one and where we will also look into lesson learned from learning assignment one and at last we will also look into SPFX coding practice challenge. In each of the level, I have given the SPFX coding practice challenge where after completion of all the session from each of the level, you have to perform coding practice challenge. Once we complete the level one, then we will proceed to the level two. Inside the level two, we are going to first understand the SharePoint REST API, what actually the SharePoint REST API is. Then we will perform setup of SharePoint list and we will also install the Postman tool because we are going to look into the Postman tool, how we can use it with the SharePoint REST API. Once we configure the Postman tool, then we will perform the learning assignment too, where we will create the list item with the REST API using Postman tool. Once we perform the create list item, then we will perform the read list item with SharePoint REST API using Postman tool. And after that, we will perform update list item operation with SharePoint REST API using Postman tool. And at last, we will also perform the delete list item with SharePoint REST API using Postman tool. And with the help of these exercises, you are very much comfortable to know how to use Postman tool to work with SharePoint REST API. And to make your learning more intuitive, I have given you the SPFX coding practice challenge too, where you will perform all these exercises on different lists. So this way you will assess your learning. Once we completed the level 2, then we will proceed with the level 3. In the level 3, we are going to increase our SPFX knowledge one level further. So what we are going to learn over here? So over here, we are going to implement the SPFX client-side web part application where we will implement the user interface and within the user interface, we are going to provide some of the buttons and on click of button, we are going to perform create item functionality, read items functionality, we will also perform read an item functionality where we will pass an ID and with the help of that ID, we will retrieve the item. Once it is being done, we will also look into how to perform the update functionality as well as we will also look into delete functionality. And at last, we will also beautify SPFX custom form using bootstrap. With the help of this example, we are able to see how to use third party library within SPFX solution and to design all the functionality like create, read, update, delete, we are going to use SPHTTP module to write our logic. Once we finish the level 3 learning, then we will proceed with the level 4 learning and over here, we are going to learn about any of the advanced concepts where we will look into the techniques how to create the layered architecture. So in this aspect, we are going to improve our design and implementation of SPFX client-side web part application using layered architecture where we will define a separate service layer as well as separate UI layer. So in this aspect, we are going to perform learning assignment 13, 14 and 15. 
where in the learning assignment 13 where we are going to create the user interface using react office ui fabric and in the learning assignment 14 where we can use the pnp js for writing the service layer so in this aspect we are going to see how to configure the pnp js and how to install the spe editor we will also look into one of the chrome extension that is very helpful to the fast development in spfx and with the help of spe editor we are going to perform the list crud operation where we will do create read update delete operations within spe editor and with the help of spe editor we can write our service logic prior to implementation prior to implementation of the prior to implementation of the service layer once we are ready with the logic of the service layer we are going to implement the actual service layer with the pnp js and where we can put the logic which we have created inside the spe editor so all these approach we are using within the industry that you are going to learn and at last once we are ready with the ui and service layer then we need to integrate it and once we finish all this learning assignments then i have given you the spfx coding practice challenge for where you need to perform all these exercises on different lists and that is going to be very helpful to assess your learning once we are done with the level 4 then we have to proceed further and look into the level 5 level 5 is more advanced concept in spfx development where i have explained the graph api what is graph api how to use graph api so in this aspect we are going to design and implement sharepoint client side web part application using graph api and spfx then i have also explained the graph api overview after understanding the graph api overview after understanding the graph api overview i have given the learning assignment 16 where we need to look into the technique how to use graph explorer to design and validate our graph api query once we are comfortable with creation of the graph api query then we will proceed further and we will understand the authorization and how it is relevant with the microsoft graph api once we understand the authorization concept then we will proceed further and then we will implement how to use spe editor once we understand that then we will proceed further and then we will perform the learning assignment 17 where we are going to use spe editor to write the service layer to write the service logic using graph api once we finish the learning assignment 17 then we will proceed further and we will perform learning assignment 18 where we are going to implement the service layer using graph api once we implement the service layer with the graph api we will perform the learning assignment number 19 where we are going to integrate the graph api service layer with the ui layer and within the ui layer we are going to do very minimal changes once we done with the integration of graph api service layer with ui layer then we will deploy and execute the spfx and graph api based application once we done with all the learning assignments then we will perform the spfx coding practice challenge number five to assess our learning once you finish all the learning assignment spfx coding practice challenge number five to assess your learning and at last we will look into and at last we will discuss about what is going to be the next step after this course so guys this course is going to be very helpful for all the students who want to learn spfx in a more step by step approach with all the industry standards so i hope it is going to be very fun so see you in the course till then bye bye take care